Every week, millions of people tune into Motor Week 92. One of the reasons is to see the spy photos of upcoming cars that Lisa Barrow features on the Motor News. Quite a few of you have asked us how the spy photographers get those shots. So we asked Lisa to look into it. And she went to one of the top men in that unusual industry for this FYI report. On a recent trip to Detroit, we had the chance to spend some time with top spy photographer Jim Dunn. And it didn't take long to discover that he loves his craft. See that truck coming out of there? It's a 1993 Ford Ranger. And it's difficult to get a good shot of a, a truck that has a bra on the front like that. The bras and the diapers on the back, uh, that's a technique that Ford Motor Company started with. And now I notice Chrysler is using it. And it's effective. It looks like a uh, just a piece of canvas over the front with openings for your lights and for the grill intake. And then another wrap around the back of the car with the tail lights and the license holes for the tail lights and the license plate. It wasn't but a few minutes later that we came upon this future Ranger. A good catch. Dunn's main job is writing for popular mechanics. He says that being a spy photographer only takes up a fifth of his time. He's been in the business for about 25 years, and I asked him if he's ever been stumped by a car. Often, often. Um, for instance, this car here was, well, this was taken through a uh, chain link fence. I think you can see that. Uh, I didn't know what it was, and I had to go to a deep throat in one of the uh, competing companies and he looked it up and he's, he identified it for me and he said it was a European Ford. Dunn showed us some of his other spy shots and explained how he and his graphic artists that. can enhance a picture. This is a photograph of an actual car that was the back window was painted white to disguise it was full of disguises and it had uh, black paint here to uh, indicate an air scoop and then there were black stripes here on the hood. In other words, they, they wanted to, if anybody saw the car, they wouldn't know what their final car looked like. Dunn's style of shooting requires a long lens. He uses an automatic focus camera with a thousand millimeter lens. Next, we headed to General Motors to see if we could catch any prototypes on the track. Can you see very well there? Watch for the white cars. That's what's important. The white cars are the prototypes. And if they are the white cars with some odd paint striping on, then they're disguised prototypes, so those are the hot ones. Hey, here comes down the hill. That's, the, that's a Cadillac. Can you get that? Huh, now what year is that Caddy? That's a 1994 Cadillac DeVille, completely new body. Mm -hmm. Are you fairly well known among, uh, amongst the car companies? I'm uh, more well known than I'd like to be because at least two of the auto companies have photographs of me that they posted around in different gates and different parts of the factory. It's almost like a wanted poster. If you see this man, call us reward. Automotive models have come a long way since the days of balsa wood and tin. Today, pre-assembled heavy